It looks like a Mission Impossible movie, but the person dangling off the mountain is 10-year-old Sayla Schneider from Glenwood Springs. <sighs> Sayla's only been on this earth a little more than a decade. Last bolt to anchor. <laughs> but she made history, being the youngest person to climb the world-famous El Capitan Mountain in Yosemite National Park. Is that, that's your first happy cry? Yeah. Yeah. I just can't believe I just did that. <laughs> It took Sayla, her dad, and her dad's friend Mark five days to climb the nose route, which is an incredible accomplishment for anyone. But on a scale of one to ten, how hard was it? An eight. An eight. An eight. Whoa. Eight to ten. Eight to ten. I feel like it's not as amazing for me as other people because I've been climbing my whole life. Hey. Sayla's parents, Mike and Joy, are climbers and own Glenwood Climbing Guides and do a whole bunch of work around the western slope. So obviously climbing runs in the Schneider family. I do pull-ups every day. Oh, do you? Yeah, yeah. I'm my best. They even have a rock climbing wall in their garage that Sayla and her three younger siblings love, something that she started using when she could crawl. I would go along the climbing wall and I would just um, use it to kind of help me walk wow. while holding on to the bottom holes and then... When I was well, my parents put me in a full body harness and I started climbing up the rock. We'd be climbing, so we'd take her along with us, so I feel like she got used to being outside. Uh, and then hence, you know, she was excited to get on a rope. For the last couple of weeks, Sayla and Mike have been blowing up on the internet and getting national attention. But the fact that they rewrote the history books hasn't hit them yet. It still feels kind of surreal, like, maybe I just don't pay enough attention to media and social media or whatnot. My friends keep telling me, like, oh my gosh, you're blowing up. I'm like, really? Like... And I, I guess I just, maybe I don't have the perspective on it. Originally, I didn't, I, we were just going to go climb it and then just go home. We weren't going to say anything. Joy was the one that really wanted to put something on Facebook. She's like, I want to share it with my friends. I'm like, okay. It's really, really crazy for me, you know. I, I live in Glamour Springs, population about 9,000. It's, it's really different for me, but I think I'm just trying to go with it. And then just keep climbing it. Until 1958, people thought that El Capitan was impossible to climb. It's 3,000 feet to the summit, which is about 300 feet higher than the tallest building in the world. I'd climbed the nose of El Cap before. I'd climbed El Cap um, four times total before that. I, I wasn't super worried about those risks, though. I was more worried about, like, other parties being slow, people dropping stuff, um, it getting too hot, or if we would run out of food or water, or just storms coming in. But they overcame obstacles and created memories that will last forever. It really helped us bond more. I had a lot of fun. I don't know that I kept more of an eye on her, but more just like connected with her more instead because we had a lot of time just to hang out together, talk with one another. Um, and that became, I think, the real emotional experience, the real takeaway. And now they are sharing their story to bring a little more light to the world. Originally, when we started to get a little bit of attention in the first day, I was like, oh, you know, I don't know. We don't really need to let blow up. But then, you know, some of the news stations that were calling us, wanting to do an interview, you start looking at what's on the news, and it's car accidents and, you know, bad stuff. And I'm like, well, okay, it kind of feels good to, like, share a happy story. Yeah. <laughs> so then, what's the next big climb? Probably be to climb El Cap as the entire family. My wife, all four kids. That would be, that would be dreamy someday. <laughs> Who knows? Wow. That'd be probably a big undertaking as well <laughs> with that number of people. But that would be wild though, like climbing El Cap all as a big trip like that. <laughs> First on the Western Slope, Troy Lynch, Carry X5 News.